Welcome to another episode of Done is Better Than Perfect. I'm your host, John Grubbs. Welcome to the show. So before we get into our topic, which I think you will find very interesting, I'm going to share some interesting facts with you about Americans. So 71% of Americans think Alexander Hamilton was a president. Do you or did you? 95% of Americans own a cell phone, 77% own a smartphone. In 2018, 55% of all Americans had money in the stock market. And this one doesn't surprise me. 33% of us don't get enough sleep. 31% of Americans don't know their neighbors at all. 11% of Americans have never left their home state. Can you believe that? And here's a big one. Get this. Only 34% of Americans say they are engaged and not bored to tears at work. Amazing. So for today's topic, types of bad bosses. Which one is mine and what do I do with this bad boss? So this is something that can be entertaining, it can be even humorous at times, but if we know what these bad bosses are and what they do, we can start to perform some self-examination. Do I do this too if I'm in the leadership position? Or have I ever worked for these bosses? So today, you can get your pens and papers ready or you can just make a mental note, but we're gonna discuss three types of bad bosses. All three make it painful for those on the team. And to be blunt, it just sucks to work for one of these people. Yet, they are the most common types of bad bosses. So here's number one. Get ready for the wiggler. The wiggler boss cannot be nailed down to anything. There is no sense of value for the Wiggler boss. Every single day is a new challenge. It's like Groundhog Day all over again because they wiggle out of everything. If you work for the Wiggler boss who is frustrated because decisions and behavior must be guessed every day, what do we do with this today? The message is constantly changing. People working for the Wiggler simply do nothing until she makes another wiggle. They just don't know what to do. And Wiggler organizations are these that are susceptible to the Flavor of the Month programs. Oh my goodness, the boss went to another workshop and now we have something new. Or the boss read another book and now we have something new. New programs are, are an attempt to fix the many problems that don't get addressed. Nothing seems to stick for the Wigglers. There's well, there, there's no discipline to see things through. Now, the Wiggler says things like, I never said that, or I didn't mean it like that. The Wiggler is always wiggling out of things. And if you work for a Wiggler, here's some tips. Documentation is your best friend. Follow up and request clarification in writing. And do this often. Use their own words to constrain the wiggle. Wigglers will blame a bad memory or bad luck or anything they can do in order to avoid being constrained. Now, some of you are thinking, hey, that's my boss. Share your thoughts below. Make a comment. We want to know your experience. Now, bad boss number two, the stickler. The sticklers don't have the wiggle. They lost it somewhere in the past. Sticklers are rigid. They live in a binary world of black and white or right and wrong. They are, well, it's one way or the other. There's nothing in the middle. You know, the stickler boss, rules dominate in a stickler organization. There's only one right way to do anything. And of course, it's their way. Their way is the right way. In stickler organizations, change is avoided. Change is feared. P 
policy and routine rule the day. And here's the funny thing. Sticklers only hire and keep other sticklers if they can. Sticklers fear consultants or outside advice. Sticklers have old and outdated policies. Sound familiar? Sticklers keep that old typewriter somewhere in the office just in case we might need it. If you work for a stickler, information is your friend. They can be sold, but it takes great work and effort. You must make them think the change is, you guessed it, their idea. Plant seeds of change for the sticklers. Plant them early and water them regularly. When they eventually see the change as their own, it can be adopted, but be careful. Sticklers have a highly sensitive change whisker and they will revert backwards and return to methods of the past very quickly. Stickler companies are very bureaucratic. It's rules, rules, rules. Actions are overanalyzed. Sticklers don't bend. There's no gray area. It is a binary world. Now, here's boss number three. Some of you work for this person. They are the hermit boss. They are the most elusive. They love isolation. Closed doors, closed schedules are the norm. Hermit bosses hire stickler gatekeepers to keep them isolated. The excuse made by hermit bosses are, I'm too busy, and they communicate preferably through email in the form of directives. There's no collaboration, there's no discussion. If you work for a hermit boss, look for another job. I'm just kidding, not really. You cannot rely on a clear understanding of expectations. You must be willing to ask for forgiveness rather than permission. With hermit bosses, there is no emotional connection. You will get very little or no feedback until you make a mistake. Hermit managers focus on trailing indicators, in other words, results only, and they pay little attention to what gets results, which are the leading indicators. All three bosses suck for different reasons. They are the result of leadership ignorance. Ignorance is not a bad word. Ignorance means people just don't know any better. These people don't think they are broken. They don't know or worse, they don't care. And if they do care, get this, they can be taught to be a leader. Identifying wanted behaviors is the first step. Once they know what to do, they can begin a long road to change or improvement. They can learn over time with training and coaching. Let me say this again. These three bad bosses can learn over time with training and coaching. Good behaviors need to be modeled for them if they're not at the top. But get this, if they are at the top of the company, turnover may be the only way to get their attention. And here's the reality. If enough good people leave, they may start to understand that they are the problem. So who's feeling the pain out there? Make a comment, slam the bell, subscribe and share this with others. Together we can make the world a better place. Get this, one boss at a time. Always remember that done is better than perfect. I'll see you next time.